Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel with myself Isabella. Thank you so much for joining me here today. If you're new here, welcome. Please like and subscribe to the channel so you never miss another video. My name's Isabella, also known as Ballet with Isabella on social media and I am a British graduate, the youngest to go to the Vaganova Ballet Academy at 15 and graduate and do the four-year course there. Then I went on to dance with Mikhailovsky Ballet and then Eiffel Ballet before I founded BWI which is a platform filled with classes and courses as well as we host intensives all over the world for anyone from beginner to professional as well as adult dancers worldwide and we just recently finished our two-week adult intensive there's a winter one coming up so if you miss that one you can definitely join us there. So today we're going to be looking at one of my favorite ballerinas and also a friend of mine and someone who I massively looked up to in school, not just for her dancing, but also her work ethic and her self-belief and her mentality. She's someone who has always had uh, incredible self-belief, it seems, from uh, an outside perspective, because I talk about her a lot on my podcast, A Dancer's Mindset. Check it out. Uh, we talk a lot about confidence and self-doubt and fear helping a lot of dancers worldwide she's someone who has always seemed like she's always thought about herself as the ballerina she would always want to become and you know there's that sort of saying that we should always think that we are already what we want to become and I truly believe that Olga was thinking every day that she was already there on the Marinsky she was already there on the Bolshoi doing the the role she always dreamt of and wanted to do and that she was just on her way to doing those things you know so each class she was taking she was just on her way to those things. You know, it wasn't like a far-fetched dream that, oh, hopefully that'll happen one day. It was gonna happen and she knew it was going to happen and she knew that her hard work would pay off. And she wasn't deluded. It wasn't like she could sit around and not try and it would happen. No, she tried super hard, but she fully believed that all my hard work will pay off and inevitably I will get what I want. And she did. <laughs> and so I think we can all learn something from that. I found a video online of a sort of progressive video of early years to more graduating years. And obviously I know her from the more graduating years. So I'll tell you when we get to that point as to how much I remember from those times. And I, I do remember in her actual graduating year, it was difficult because she had a hip injury she had to keep her legs lower and obviously that's very frustrating when it's your graduating year no she's always been incredible and been very articulate with her arms and her legs in terms of her arms are always very obviously ahead of her legs which is something that's very drilled into us at school but she really capitalizes on that like she really uses that to her advantage it makes her look very confident when she dances and you'll be able to see this but it's interesting as well to watch her younger years because we can see whether like she's always been a star from the beginning or whether and did she stand out from the beginning and and why is that because when they're younger is often when it's less obvious and because you know they're all chosen for a particular reason for their bodies and and you can see that they all have potential so but it's interesting she's already at the front in a lot of the classes already considered one of the best so let's have a look so this is her in um the younger classes with this very slow Russian tempo. Look at those fifths. Perfect fifths. The wristieres are kind of low, so they keep their hips nice and square. I think just looking at her at this age, you know, she's no more, no more necessarily capable, right, than the others. Uh, they all look pretty similar. Like this one in the middle is nice as well. Perfect turn out, all of them. Perfect, oh my gosh. Sometimes I prefer watching the younger years just because of how you know, precise everything is, my gosh. It's what makes them so good. From an early age, no no messing around. A lot of schools go too quick at this age. And then, but also don't build strength either. It's like adage in two counts, whereas this is like 16. <laughs> 
like this one this one next to Olga also has very nice aplomb and personality I think Olga's beauty like her you know her face and everything she has already stands out you know because she just has this presence in her using her back a, a little bit more than the others she just has this look on her face you know that she's she's just in this intelligent look on her face like she's thought, thinking everything through very intelligently which she is whenever I watched her work you know Whenever I watched her work, you know, she fully understands what she's doing. She's fully thinking it through. Like here, she understands she needs to give different personality. And she just has it, you know. Really beautiful. And just... She also has this very, very beautiful long neck, you know. It's really nice to watch. Back when they had wooden floors. Now none of the studios have wood. Oh, she's going higher with her hereditary. Cute. Already really beautiful soft wrists as well. So now older. We've seen this on Instagram. And the legs have developed nice shape. I also really appreciate, you know, she has these beautiful strong legs. Like her her thighs are strong. And I always say to the girls, like when they're when the, like sometimes I have students here who say, I'm afraid of developing the thighs, I'm afraid of developing muscle. I'm like when you see these Vaganova muscles and these Vaganova legs up close, my god. They have muscle. They have thighs. Like, muscle to push off the floor. Real power. <laughs> Beautifully strong. And she has this um, very beautiful line of leg. Like, you know, very hyper-extended legs. And she's strong. Olga works uh, extremely hard. Like, extremely hard. Every lesson, she comes out she would come out looking red like you know a tomato working very hard she's given every exercise like a hundred and ten percent like you know she deserves every success she has nothing's nothing's been handed to her on a plate at all like she's again a dancer who understands it takes work 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 beautiful Shane. and and you know with that in mind she she gains you know you gain confidence and she's she really performs every exercise and she goes for it. She knows what she wants and she's determined to get it. She's very, she's always been very good at Chenet. She has very good momentum. Those are really hard to look elegant, you know? They can look super ungainly. You gotta go over a hill, basically. But she has always... Oh, <laughs> wrong arm. All right, so I know all these girls, all these girls, because I, when I came, I I joined a bit later than this, but I know that studio well. For some reason, when I arrived, uh, that picture at the back had a hole in the shoe. Like, the point shoe of her front foot had a huge hole in it. I don't know what happened. Maybe a teacher punched it. And just, you know, she's she's already starting to develop beautiful upper body. So, this an exact this is an exam I definitely watched. This along with her previous one. Now, next to her is Christina Chapran. And so throughout the school it was really funny. It was like, ah, and this is when okay, this is uh, it's always a bit weird for me to say, but this is when, you know, um, the teachers started to say obviously when I got better that there's three ballerinas in this school and they were talking about Olga, Christina and me because I was in the 
the class um, down below so after them and so it was nice you know uh, that they thought of me in that way but again just didn't have the, the total confidence and self-belief yet however when watching um, when people were watching this exam uh, it was always like Olga or Christina Olga or Christina everyone was like who do we prefer who do we prefer and why and they're very different you know like Christina is super flexible I guess it's turning into this sort of video <laughs> um, Christina is very flexible but just not um, totally connected with her turnout or her coordination so she has amazing extension and expression very passionate and more aggressive than um, Olga you know like more with the accent um, but she she struggles she's not as versatile like not as strong all round as Olga and Olga just has this beautiful aura anyway let's watch Olga you can see beautiful extension by this point and confident and, the, and it's very expansive her arms and expansive her movements arms are always before her legs like always just look always always before she just always works hard look she's always she's red again works very hard all the time <laughs> You know, but everything's perfect. Beautiful fifths. But you'll see, the arms are always before, and therefore it makes her look organized and, and confident and expansive, and she always leads with her hip and then her body when she's stepping into something. Notice how the leg, the front leg, the supporting leg goes down before um, she finishes a turn. It's never two legs at the same time, you know, because it stabilizes you to put the supporting leg down first. It's just afterwards, but it's definitely before. You may not even notice it. Look, oh, <laughs> don't slip. <laughs> I remember seeing that. I remember seeing that. This is beautiful. And we can really see, oh, look at the hands when they put them on the hips. So much control. And now here comes Olga's beautiful Chenet. She does loads of Chenet. And as we know, she's always been good at them. Much faster than everyone else. Beautiful fits when we come down there. That can easily be turned in, but known unacceptable at Vaganova. She's much stronger technically than Christina. Just, just overall. I think this is when Christina hits her in the face. <laughs> Not quite in the face, but still. I think Olga was a bit displeased about that. <laughs> But look, she just has so much aura, even when she burrays. You know, but she didn't do that trip all so cleanly. I mean, they're all exhausted. And look how beautiful they are. This is the year before they graduate. But obviously now Nikolai has taken that year off. But look, she finishes the confidence. She knows she didn't do the trip all so well. Um, so it's interesting right now this year wouldn't happen the year we're watching now but they just look already you know 10 times more confident no even more confident than before and beautiful beautiful look her arms so expansive when she lifts a second use of the back I love this exercise I love it oh my gosh Let's do this in my um, advanced pro class soon. <laughs> Arms before. Ugh. Ugh. 
I just love that. You gotta scroll back and watch that. How she adjusts her heel before she comes down, guys. Constantly working the turnout. Constantly. Heels forwards. And this is the year she had to keep her leg low. Epo man all the time as that leg comes through. You know, it's her arms and her upper body is very proud. Ugh, expansive arms before leading the movement. I gotta say, I know, I, like, I'm not opposed to other techniques, but ugh, when you understand Vaganova and you and you know how to really work your body and do the Vaganova method, my God, does it feel does it feel nice to dance when you're in control? It feels so nice, confident and strong and beautiful. Ugh. Soft elbows all the time. Look, arms before. All the time. It's literally a millisecond before, but they are before. She looks beautiful there. Ah, notice they did this exercise the year before. More confident this time. Using your hips, bum bum. Notice you always open the arms before you land. Ah, oh, they've changed the ending, but still. Beautiful fuete. I would say, oh no, they are doing it. <laughs> I would say um, this is what makes the person in the middle stand out a bit more. Is that like the control of their movements, you know, and their their agility. Like it's just that bit smoother, that bit more controlled. Beautiful Shane. Now guaranteed a lot of people wouldn't even think to turn out when you do Arabes fifth detonate, Arabes fifth. I would have to scream at them to be turned out. But no, you've got to always think, everyone, about the clean fifths. It's quite hard finishing the whole exam with Italian Fuerte. <laughs> and they do it all the time. <laughs> now, will Christina remember to do the same thing? Good. She didn't forget. <laughs> They're very different, but just equally as beautiful. This is their final exam. Oh, and that's it. They did it. From the very beginning. Amazing, 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 amazing. So nice. Now, <laughs> there's all those people watching and then there's also all the people on the balcony watching. It's a full on show. It is so fun to watch. But anyway, this is about Olga. So I think she's she's always been a star. She's always thought of herself as, you know, destined for greatness, you know? And just watching her in class and watching her in, in rehearsals, she would always, when given a correction, you know, and, and Kovalova is just like such a deep person, you know? Her corrections would just go more than just turn out. It would be like when she's correcting you on a, on a role or a solo, it would be, she'd really get into it with you and and that translates into the student and Olga would go into her own world and just kind of go in internal and just think about everything she was saying and she's a very intelligent dancer and with the Vaganova technique we're obviously taught to be extremely strong technically but the artistic style the artistic presence is just part of the package it's not something to add on at the end it's not the icing on the cake to add at the end like oh smile a bit give it a bit more performance quality like everything they're doing has performance quality they do an arabesque there's there's passion there they do a fai they're really use it, utilizing their upper body like it's just it's part of it it's part of their day-to-day -day. it's part of bringing out their unique self and their unique personality through movement and that's something I am eternally grateful for the Vaganova method for not only with the rigorous training but I've always, I've always been such a passionate, passionate dancer and, and loved ballet more than anything. 
but as you guys know when I was uh, training here originally it was uh, hard for me to translate that through my body because it was I wasn't trained to really express and utilize my pudder bra properly so I looked stiff and so that's what's you know really I think now has to be critically looked at with whatever style you're doing you know but the Veganova just knows how to do it but yes let me know if you enjoyed this video if you also love Olga and if you can see all the little things I'm talking about and this is why again as a coach and as a teacher myself I work in a lot of detail because we are taught in a lot of detail nothing is let go and so I see a lot of things that a lot of students don't even think to think about and so that's what I teach them as well to be aware of these things and I know where they're weak I know where they need to gain strength I know where where their focus needs to go it's another reason that the school is so fantastic so guys let me know which ballerina you enjoy and you love and maybe I can do a little appreciation video but also just analysis on them and I would love to hear your feedback so please like and subscribe I hope you enjoyed the video I hope you're doing well and I hope you have an amazing day bye for now